Hey, orange one here. So we're back um, a little bit out of the city. And I, what I'm doing is I'm taking these androids to start our own little farm out in the countryside. Now, I'd like to imagine that um, Nosh, he really, what all he wants is people to make explosives for him. That's really all he wants is like people to help enable him to do more killing. That's that's essentially the use of these these uh, friends of his. Um, so we're gonna come out here. Oh look, there's a cat. Nice. And I want to be around here. I think elephant bear club. That could be interesting. I think. We want this tile right here. Migo Scout? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we don't want to have camp around here if there's Migo Scouts. It doesn't look to me like a Migo base or anything. But I think that we're okay. But I'm going to try sniping those guys. That's That's the game plan. Um, what guns do we have? Uh, ba -ba -ba. isn't that a sniper rifle? I can't remember. If I wanted to compare my current guns, let's look at my heavy and this. Which one's got a better range? Um, maximum range, whoa. On the Scar Heavy is 60. What? Uh, how does that compare to this one? Actually, they've got the same maximum range, the two of them. Um, yeah, I think... I think those guys were about 60 away from the car. Uh, let's have a look-see. Actually, that's exactly 60. Cool. Okay. Guess what, Mr. Um, whatever you call it. Migo. Oh no, I don't have any ammo for that. Never mind. Not the giant bee. Hit the flying Migo. Actually, hold on. This where are earplugs for this? Don't need to lose my hearing. I'm trying to kill the Migo. Dang, dude. That thing's got some health. I got 15 shots left. Um. Okay. I'm going to reload some of these guys um i'm actually hold on yeah our scar heavy we've got i think a good amount of stuff there um we also have like three other guns or something like that on us so i think we're okay that Migo scout i think it's coming towards me not looking to get in melee with you or even ranged from what I've heard you guys have a pretty intense pain attack that I don't want to know anything more about other than it sucks and it's killed many many players from what I've seen online um but we're pretty safe out here nice having all these clothes And also the nice thing about being out here is that we're going to have this last man on earth shelter, which is going to be free drinking water for our friends here. And what I would love to do is have NPC bases be at the point where we could just get set up in there. Unfortunately, the game's not set up that way as of right now. So we can't really do that. But I can do something like this. Um, where I talk to one of my friends. 
Are you gonna come out? I'm gonna push you out and close the door. Who is this? Harvey. Hey, Harvey. Um, I want to start a base out here. Let's talk about faction camps. Jay. I want you to build a camp here. Yes, and we have that, um, uh, last man on, on earth shelter. Name this camp. Oh god, I should have thought about this. Um, instead of the porta potty, you could call this. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's call this Cybertown because we got two uh, two cyber cyborgs. Or or no. Uh, No, we're going to call it Freaky Town. Because we're going to have cyborgs and we're going to have um, mutants all hanging out. Yes. Um, that's, oh, we can make our own zones. Let's get some base camp. Hold on. Let's say we're going to have... Um, Vehicle repair zone. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff that's changed here. Can I say... Uh, let's have a no pick up zone of from here to there. And let's get another of that. No NPC auto pick up from here to there. And then... Um, base camp food. I'm just gonna put that here for now. Uh, base camp storage. We'll just do that here there for now. Blueprint zone. What? I'm I'm confused. Uh, remove. We're gonna go like that for now sure no um oh we could do i see so we've got these different missions okay we could send someone to go clear a forest probably should send someone to go clear a forest but they should probably be decently equipped You know, I was also going to actually we'll we'll come back here. This will be our little our little town. But Harvey, we need to go hunt and get you some large stomachs so that you, we can create that mutagen. So hopefully this cub will give us a large stomach. Is it going to come towards me? No, it's going to run away. Oh. Bummer. Yeah, cuz basically what we need to do here is Oh no, spores? There's spores? Why are there spores? Maybe this is a bad place for a base. There's spores down there. Maybe we should try and go further north. I kind of want to be near the doctor's office and the refugee center though. Nope, that's my seat. Oh gosh, okay. These guys, um, I think we're just going to go hunting for large stomachs for now. Maybe we'll come back to this area. And I know I should check that last man on Earth shelter. It could have some good stuff for us, but I just want something that's got a large stomach in it. Like a deer. Or, I mean, I could kill a cow, but that seems like a incredibly inefficient way of using the cow you know yeah squirrels are not going to give us large stomachs the added benefit is that this will also help us scout out the uh, surrounding area maybe you can see where that spore uh, spot is coming from 
freaky town is on the map like that. I like that. Giant's maggot. That's probably not going to have a giant stomach, but it could. Where's that giant maggot? It's going to turn into a fly eventually, so no, it's not going to give us a stomach. It's just a baby. Let's just get our head healed up as well while we're at it. There's like nothing out here. Holy cow. I don't think I've seen an empty a uh, place that empty in a long time in, in this game. Come on, there's gotta be something. Giant B. Come on, RNG. Goat. A goat might have a large stomach. Well, we're about to find out. Hello, goat. Goodbye, goat. Uh oh, there's fungaloids. Seriously, where are the fungaloids coming from? There's gotta be a fungal tower around here somewhere. There's some here, some there. I don't see them over to the left, so I bet they're like somewhere over here. Oh, can I not carry the goat? The goat's too heavy for me? Huh. Okay. Well, we'll have to go drive the car over the goat then, won't we? It's a good thing I'm not driving too fast, huh? Um, that should be good. I think they're actually right here now, yeah. So, can I... Uh, I don't... Or discrete organs. I, I don't know. Pool butchery. And if we quarter or if we skin them, we don't get the organs, do we? Field dressing. Doesn't that take the internal organs? Yields inter internal organs. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's see if we get any internal organs by field dressing. Large stomach. Yes. That is exactly what I wanted. Thank you, goat. Um, there is a mutagen in here called... Cattle mutagen. Oh, I need another large stomach. Okay, well, let's put this large stomach in the fridge. We want that to stay fresh while we're hunting. And we'll go looking for something else. This may take a while. I didn't realize it was going to take that long to find a large animal. It's taking a little while to get up to speed there. We really like ran out of gasoline or something. Giant royal bee. That's the one that can catch you on fire, right? One of them can spit fire, which I I don't really understand. I think there's a example of an ant that has oh, there's a huge wolf spider. I could have a large stomach. I think I remember learning about an example of an ant that, um, they don't breathe fire. They, um, whatchamacallit, they, they, like, secrete a chemical that, um, is very exothermic when it reacts, or something like that. Oh, the spider was fighting a zombie. I see. I'm wondering why it wasn't coming towards me. I don't think that this will give me a giant stomach, but it might. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Whatever that bug was, it's not getting to us. Uh, 
No, has no organs. The spider has no organs. Now that, that just, that is weird. Come on, Cataclysm, you can give me some organs from the spider. It wouldn't be like a, what you and I normally think of when we're thinking of organs, but it'd be something. Oh, we do have all those Scar Heavy magazines that are fully loaded. Um, got a pretty full load around here. I put the other anesthetic kit just on the ground, it's seeing how it's empty. This I'm pretty sure got phased out, the auxiliary flamethrower. I'm pretty sure I'm not even supposed to have it. Because I can't craft it anymore, which is sad. Because I really like the idea of having a little flamethrower on your gun. So cool. But now it's going to just take up my storage capacity, my extremely hard to come by storage capacity. Um, yeah, I think that that's, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go find a goat or like a pig or something. We got, you gotta give me something game. I mean, really what they need is they need it so milk can be used to craft the earth sign mutagen. It makes no sense that it it can't be. Did I already loot this bank? What is this? I don't remember going there. I'm very confused because it's it looks like I've been there. I don't remember going there, like, at all. I mean, I, I remember going to the dump that was just up from there, but the actual thing itself, I don't remember. Got me a little bit concerned. And now we're heading really far off away from that refugee center, which I have a shame. But if I gotta do it for the uh, the large stomachs, then we gotta do it, you know? This is where I wish I had that bug still that made it so you um, animals spawned at like ridiculous rates and just kept on spawning. <laughs> yeah, the giant bees, they don't give you organs now, do they? Ooh, really hit that one hard. That actually was not intentional. Kind of cool though. I'm just gonna go get that corpse. I might have to kill this zombie. Or this uh, bee. Um, let's get this back out. At the very least, it's, it's free practice aiming. And if we could get large stomachs from, like, boomers, we would be set. Can I close that? Actually, I'm gonna do the surgery. Not surgery, the dissection where you are. But I do need some light. <laughs> no organs! Why? Why does this game seem to think that only mammals have organs? Do you know that plants technically have, um, I think organ systems, not organs, but like something comparable to an organ system. And it's basically like roots and not roots. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Uh, elephant bear, you better drop a large stomach, Mr. Elephant bear. As long as the front of the woods don't get you, right? Um, what did I just smash? Oh, it's a shrub. Okay. Yeah, it's your elephant bear. I'm just gonna try and lure you over here. And then kill you. A squig is a fungally infested uh, uh, pig, right? But I think that that they might have a stomach for me. 
Um, get that scar heavy out. There is a zombie kind of making their way over here. And there's a skeletal juggernaut over there as well. Um... Okay, that has that zombies down. How are we doing over here? The elephant bear is just kind of standing there. I'm gonna just let him, let him be for a little bit, because I think that skeletal juggernaut's gonna make their way over. It, and I'm curious to see an elephant bear versus a juggernaut. Maybe stop running. Just keep your breath. Yeah, the Juggernaut seems to be making their way over. Uh, what's coming at us as well? Is that Dwarf Coyotes? I think they, they're not hostile to me, are they? They're tracking me? Man, this is like a epic showdown. There's a Skeletal Juggernaut that I'm pretty sure is about to smash a Elephant Bear. Which then might go smashing into my car. If so, so be it. Let's see, how are they doing? Elephant bear and the juggernaut are actually it looks kinda of like they're evenly matched. Wait, who got the elephant bear got punched. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let things play out over here. Just you know, rip and tear there, elephant bear. Oh my god. Just killed like six coyotes there. Um, I'm just gonna let let things uh, play out. <laughs> I love this. It's the little things, right? That one coyote. Wait, where did the elephant bear go? Did you kill the elephant bear? Where did it go? What? Like, for real, where did it go? What did you do to it? I'm only doing 30-something damage. That's... I feel like that's less than what our other gun used to do. But you know what we can do now? Well, I'm not going to do it right now because, well, for one thing, we're deaf. I wasn't really planning on right now, but... That's not why I want to show off. Use the tracers. Um, we can change fire mode here. Switch aiming modes. Uh, no M. I'm seeing different things here. Aiming modes. Oh, I see. Versus if I'm going to firing mode. Yeah, I can go to auto on this guy. You want to see an auto on this dude? Pretty good. We missed three and we hit three. I mean, it's kind of a waste of ammo. It definitely is a waste of ammo. Um, unless you're being over overwhelmed a little bit. I think we can kill this one in this shot. There we go. I had a feeling. Now we're deaf though. And out of breath. We got everything going for us right now. Besides that elephant bear corpse. Oh wait, no, where where is the elephant bear? Elephant bear, come back. I love you. I promise. I won't make the same mistakes again. Okay. You're, you're tracking me. I shot you and you're like, I'm going to keep my eye on you. I'm not so sure. Are you running away? Oh, I don't think so, Mr. Elephant Bear. I don't think so. Where's that master? Not too rude, because there's, like, no zombies around us right now. 
Okay, let's get in the car and... Oh, you're all deaf, I'm sorry. Hurting my NPC's delicate ears. At least I didn't swear at them or anything. Uh, let's see. Where, oh, where did I put that? Yeah, right there. Yeah, let's slow it down to a crawl. Yeah, that should be good. How weird that you can just drive over an elephant bear. And its tile is so big, actually. <laughs> it's, you can see it clipping through the car. That's awesome. You'll dress the corpse. If I get multiple large stomachs, then I'd be very happy. Um, can I just close that? Now they, now they can't see me, right? I'm good. You'll dress. Nor. Large stomach. Good. Cool. Um. Can I make some cattle mutagen? <gasps> I can only make one dose of it, though. Which is, like, not even worth taking. This is gonna be a long process. If we're collecting it like that. <laughs> Let's see. Cattle mutagen. Yeah, this seems absurdly restrictive. Like, to the point where I might put in a bug request to have milk added to the, um, the item list there. Oh, look, we got a Triffid Tower. Or Fungal Bloom. That's what was making Freaky Town all fungally. Maybe we could check out the hunting... Um, the hunting blind. Uh, hunting ma zombie master. Whatever. Come at me. Let's see. We go over here. <laughs> Sorry, I got like hiccups all of a sudden. In the last couple of minutes of my recording. <laughs> Okay, what do we have there? Nothing worth keeping. I'm just gonna run over the corpse. And this hunting blind is tiny. I mean, that is what they are, but... Yeah, there's like nothing even in there. I mean, like a crate or something. Yeah, I also feel like I should be hanging around the forest, but there's all these fungaloids. They are affecting, like, spawning of things. Yeah. We're gonna have to charge in there in the next episode. I might do so with our flamethrower. Try and get some experience. Oh, there's wolves. <laughs> yeah. I know, Tasia. I wanted to make Harvey and Balax, but I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Uh, not at this rate. Not gonna happen anytime soon. Alright, well I think I'm gonna end this here though. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.